So we're just finishing up day 14 of dry Feb. Uh, it's a busy weekend. Uh, uh, on the 12th of Feb, uh, you can see in some of my videos, one of my videos actually on my channel, there's a picture of a rice pudding uh, that I had. Uh, I took one bite of it and it tasted kind of off. I haven't had rice pudding in a while, so I said to my mom, I don't know how long, when was the, like, when did you put it in? Like, when did you make it? How long has it been in the fridge for? She's, she couldn't really remember. She, I was like, well, can you try it and let me know? So she took a, a bite. She says, oh, it seems good to me. So <laughs> I kept eating it, even though it tasted odd. And sure enough, on the uh, 13th, lucky 13, Thank God it wasn't, uh, knock on wood, it wasn't as bad of, uh, of food poisoning as I've had before. Uh, so basically in the morning, my stomach was bothering me. I was farting, burping. I thought it was maybe the breakfast side, the brunch I'd had the day before, which was the uh, eggs with the uh, pork and beans and the uh, toast with, uh, uh, with the cheese. But that wasn't the case. It was definitely the... Uh, <clears throat> the uh, rice pudding uh so later on in the day i just kept going to the bathroom i, I didn't actually have diarrhea i was just going probably because like i said on my reefy day i ate quite a bit and the beans and that and, and other things with i put in my smoothies and that so other than that it was good it was fine like i felt all like i was still burping and tasting the egg like i don't know if you ever had food poison when you're burping you kind of taste like it's an egg taste in your mouth and that's how i know i've had it and uh, i thought for sure that i was gonna i didn't have uh um diarrhea which is surprising but uh, later on during the day i just I just kept burping and burping and burping and then just i'm surprised i held on to it because last time i had like uh when it was really bad it was like obviously a worse uh worse uh food poisoning than this time it was like projectile vomit so i didn't even have time to get to the bathroom whereas today or the other day excuse me when i had it i just finished stuff upstairs i forgot what i was doing and uh, I would have done this earlier, but my brother came this weekend and I'm kind of catching up on stuff. Uh, so I went downstairs and kind of sat down for a bit. And then I'm like, I wasn't feeling good. And I, so I went in the bathroom and sure enough, but after, I only did it once, cleared everything out and I was good to go for the rest of the day. So my plan was to do back to back 72s because I broke my fast. I did like, uh, I ate at the, for the Super Bowl. So I kind of like mixed up i switched up my fasting so because of doing 248s i'm pretty sure i did 248s up double check. i didn't really double check before i did this video um so what i plan on doing was do 272s but because of what happened with the <laughs> with the uh, rice pudding that whole day because i knew the last time i had food poisoning when i ate something or drank something right away i'd be throwing up so what it is i dry fasted all day so all i did it was just dry fast and then obviously throwing up and then dry fasting and that night because my, my mom would call, uh, uh, got really upset because my dad is really, really sick right now. Uh, he went from 189 pounds in November. As of today, it's February 15th. I uh, haven't checked the exact weigh in because uh, my mom keeps track of it. Uh, he was just under 120 pounds. So the other day, I think he's like less than that now. He went up to my mom uh, and hugged her and said, I love you and I think I'm going to be dying soon. So my mom like lost it. She's been like a wreck. So she came to me the other day and she's like, I need you to call your brother. So I can't even call him because she's just like not crying like every every time, like every time she thinks of it, she's just like losing it. Uh, so I texted my brother. He was going to come yesterday morning uh, but because I told him exactly what my dad said to my mom. He came uh, that night, so which was good. So uh, like hung out with my dad. Uh, so that night we got Swiss Chalet, so I broke my fast that night, so we had Swiss Chalet, and by that time I was fine, so I could actually eat, I didn't have to throw up after I ate, usually when it does happen, if I have a bad case of it, it like right away I have to go out of the bathroom or throw up, and just because I still have the kind of stuff in my system, so it was a good night, I got through that, um, and then in the morning, um, went and got my dad a whistle, because uh, when he's upstairs, um, he's... Like he, he's like dehydrated because when you lose that much weight, even though he's drinking water, he also has a, a blad, I think it's a bladder infection or kidney uh, leakage or, for, or not infection, leakage. So like he has to drink so much water because whenever he gets it in, it kind of like leaks into his stomach. 
So he's, he, he, if you see, it, if I showed you a picture, like his, it's hard to explain, but it looks like his, his, like he used to, always used to have a fat face because of, of what's going on with his leakage and that, and he's got colitis and then now whatever this thing is that he's, he'll get the results on Tuesday, which we're pretty sure is an ulcer, ulcer in his stomach. That's why he can't eat, uh, even though he tries his best. Um, so we're hoping that everything works out. So, uh, yeah, so that, uh. Anyways, so it was good as my brother, my brother to be here, and uh, and my dad, you know, his spirits kind of went up a bit because he's been kind of spirits have been kind of low because like I mean dealing with colitis and his his also his uh, his leakage and and everything like it's just he tries to eat can't eat and when he does eat it goes right through him with his colitis so it's pretty frustrating for him to lose all that weight like he can't even walk. My brother did buy him a. Uh, walker so that helps a lot like he doesn't have to walk with his cane uh, in the basement and then my aunt uh, Wes is, is mailing out a, another uh, walker so he can use upstairs uh, until hopefully he regains some weight and strength because he has like I said he's skin and bones so I'm hoping that uh, all that works out um, so I feel I feel good better now and I uh, just take it one day at a time so tomorrow is Monday and uh, so then Tuesday morning we go to get the results and hopefully have good news. So I don't know if I left something out, but that's kind of a update of the last couple of days there here. Uh, so I'll keep you guys updated. I know I usually like to do this once a day, but because of what went on the last couple of days and dealing with that, uh, you know, my mind was kind of elsewhere and I was doing uh, obviously my brother in town. So. Hopefully everything works out. And I did give my, uh, finally got my, I gave my brother my niece and nephew's presents for Christmas and that. So can't wait for him to send me the video of them. It's too bad they couldn't be here to open in person. But at least I finally got, they got them to, to, uh, they'll get them tomorrow. I'll probably open them tomorrow morning. So, all right. So see you guys later. I'm going to have, uh, uh, because I had to give my dad the, I didn't refill the ice cube tray. I couldn't make my smoothie tonight. So I, uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll make my smoothie because I did pick up finally a vanilla and protein shake. I bet I can have my chocolate protein coffee tomorrow morning because I have my sh uh, my shake stuff now. So which is good because I haven't had them in a long time. It's always good to have the protein. But so tonight I'm just having uh, um, see just regular cereal here with I just put some stevie in it with some bananas. So that's what I'm having tonight right before I go to bed. So. Anyways, I'm just kind of rambling. I'm just trying to think of the, what I didn't think of. Or what, usually I write this stuff down, but... Uh, or... Uh, I'm just going to check quickly. Yeah, so there's nothing real. Raptors lost tonight against the Timberwolves. That was pretty, pretty brutal. Um, the worst team in the league. Uh, so anyways, we won't go into that, but, uh, not looking good. They were looking good the other day, not so much today. Uh, Leafs are looking good, though, though they did lose to Montreal the other day, so. Blew a one nothing lead, so. Back-to-back -back losses by the Haps, by the Haps, by the Leafs and uh, the Raptors, so hopefully they can turn it around, so. Anyways, but, uh, it's looking up, it's looking up. And uh, it was nice to have my brother here for the last couple of days, and he did uh, thank me for all the work I've been doing. It hasn't been easy, uh, you know, helping my mom and my dad out and seeing him deteriorate. So he thanked me, so I appreciated that. So it was nice to hear. It hasn't been easy, so I'll keep you guys posted. Hopefully you got some good news coming soon. See you guys later. Could give us better.